Ghana's constitution is supreme and must be abided by all. Flouting any of those codified laws goes with punishment. It appears, however, that when it comes to the rent laws, it cannot bite much. Most markets, you know, the ideal position is to have an equilibrium where demand and supply are the same. And so one uh, part of uh, the equilibrium doesn't dominate the other. In the affordable housing space, unfortunately, there is a significant shortage. And whenever there is shortage, it is the owners of that commodity or property that controls the narrative. And in this case, it is the landlords who control it. The most recent population and housing census data tells us that only 5% of Ghanaians today can on their own put up housing. Another 60% will require some sort of government intervention before they can get access to housing. And for the outstanding 35%, they would even require some sort of more direct support through social housing uh, before they can get shelter. So the market is heavily lopsided um, on the demand side when there's very limited supply. In fact, today's housing deficit is a bit somewhere between 1.8 to 2 million units. Yet at the same time, about 12% of properties that you see around are unoccupied because they are very high-end properties when there are millions of people who are looking for um, property. So the few people who have property take advantage of, um, you know, tenants. A group of researchers in a study done on Ghana's housing and health titled The Psychological Impact of Renting a Home in Ghana revealed that the impact of rental obligations such as raising the lump sum payment, that is, advanced rent in particular, not only lead to deteriorating psychological health problems, but also considered as a silent killer in the general population. You can tell that this problem existed a very long time ago. We had shortage of affordable housing and multi-year rent some 60 years ago. Sebi, who here Juma Kwa and Negana Yedi, Yema Koso, yet two thousand quite a hand to mouth. We're going to meet the visa two years moon yeah another every eight thousand and seven times from Corinth then be said our case free education. It's still still about bond by free. We don't move GS can be, but I'm a bond dry festival, it will continue to be festival. For a time I will be as when you wish and to make this in the future. We can now pay an amount of money, 10,000, 8,000, and quarantine them. Why is have no best at it? I can't have a for another one easy. Persons like John Mensa is the reason the government came up with this other social intervention program. So the National Rental Assistance Scheme is basically taking a position uh, between the landlords and the tenants. You know, the landlord is sticking by his or her demands, you know, the two years or one year rent advance. The tenants, on the other hand, like you and I, we want to be able to pay our rent in a, a monthly because rent in most other places is paid monthly. We pay your rent to the landlord and each month you pay back to the scheme, either through your employer deduction or through your bank or you know, send it in uh, by mobile money. The application process is no more difficult than a simple job application form. Your name, your address, and then you provide your identification. We need to know who you are. You provide your pay slips if your employer gives pay slips. And then you provide three months of your bank statements to show that indeed you are working and you are capable of paying back the scheme because this is not free. You need to pay it back. For a young man or woman coming out of school or wherever trying to rent a place, you haven't even worked for, for, for six months where you are supposed to provide rental advance for two years or three years. And where are you going to get that money from? You know, so this is what was exercising our minds in terms of how do you 
solve this problem? How do you bridge this gap between the person who wants to rent and the landlord? It's, it's a critical component of normalizing renting in Ghana. Housing is a, is a right. If you look at uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, for example, food, clothing, shelter, um, it is one of the most basic needs. It is a right that people must have access to. Now, the National um, Rental Assistance Scheme supports our citizens who are therefore looking to access housing by making available that initial outlay so that they can make an offer to the landlord of about a year, in this case, and then they can service it on a monthly basis. And what that does is that it gives them access to that right of housing uh, while they can then at their own pace service it on a gradual basis. It was a campaign promise by the New Patriotic Party to facilitate accessibility and affordability of safe, secure and decent rental accommodation and ultimately protect these targeted people from the unfair burden of multi-year rent advance payment. It tells you that you are very serious about the issue, that you consider it very important and you want to make a promise to the people that if you are elected, you will deliver on this. And I think this was one of our 2020 manifesto promises that we made. Um, and by the way, I think that we have fulfilled the promise and you know the, the scheme uh, is working. The NPP is a very ambitious party and you will find it through some of the very audacious promises that we make. Um, and we don't just make those promises, we work hard towards achieving those promises. When this promise was made, you recall that it was one of the promises that was mocked. And people came up with this, it's not possible, you can't do it, you can't achieve it. But our leadership has always believed that even the most difficult things are possible to achieve. And you'll find that this and many of our promises we were able to achieve as well. This timely, people-centered public program has for the past year since inception absorbed so much pressure from Ghanaians. Last year, June, I was hot cake, I was me too. If you ever want to, my Pima Pima is going to be one. I was expecting to be better than one. To my first, my banner may want to be some good dinner, make it some more kind of GTV. So I bind the policy be about more pure than my. And I made a bath, a German, maybe some colleague, my TV don't friend with national renters. What tell us what? In the uncle Bonshan, you should company wife and your body in your year for load. But then my two events. Nevans, the church will be a come as a young company and a member. The air back is in Michia. Sister Rose, my aunt, I think that within five days, we prepare now. We be a good to miss me, people, my man, and mom, and I'm going to try. As we speak, we've held slightly under 2,000 people uh, on the scheme. And the good thing is that everybody pays. It's very easy to apply. Just go to our website, www.nras.gov.gh. Magdalene Osai Bonsu is one other beneficiary in Kumasi and she works with a cocoa clinic. Magdalene is one of the many Ghanaians who suffer psychological distress and forgo a lot of necessities just to save to pay two years advance rent. Madame Fubina or catch me about it. Nam ye di rent to Hong Kong. No si why be into no se me here se me rent na so na se me se me ye dia obetwe me amama maye e no share link no e ma me e na me am e call online na me ye bibia me call portal no so e na me a information or more request ye nyina or more request e me pay slips e ne e me pay slips e ne me bank statement ha oh who key in we na Edana unya ko ese wa start bi bi sei e ye inti no o pese o to aso ana o se o ka che o se o pese o to aso a na fe o mo ankasa me me fre eh madam fo no nti ono na no aso o guide guide me kan 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 ma me de ye Magdalene was heavy laden 
but a simple referral from her friend to the scheme's website was just enough to give her rest. First, no. As I say, me 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 copy scan on a me de beer, but where the boy menti, menti be a na metia. In Kaba, I can't can just say me call bank, I me call you loan, na na be beside the baby. Menti. Time frame, I'm only two years scan. Nay, very short. Within three days, na scan aba. In Kaba bank loan, dia se ke be take some time and so na aba. No sa no so e save you. E da imbi wo no ma ubenya. Initially, many people thought that it was just a promise that it wouldn't come into being right um, and that you know this would just disappear you know but we worked at it and we implemented it and so for the beneficiaries uh, for many of them it's a dream come true they've been able to rent places which they would otherwise have been unable to rent and so it's, it's very heartwarming for me that the scheme that our government has implemented is helping many people. When the scheme was launched in 2023, government committed 30 million Ghana cities towards its initial implementation, and it was to start from six regions. The rent control, who is you know, part of the Ministry of Works and Housing, gave us a list of locations that had the most pressing uh, rental issues. And so they selected Accra, Kumasi, Takrade, Techiman, uh, Tamale, and uh, Kufaridia for us to, uh, to start with. For John Mensa, it is his second time running to the scheme for urgent support since he joined. Eight months, Munia. They are kind of hand to mouth. Let my wife is so far. No, I'm not pressure. And to ever bomb with you, a bomb upon to discuss them, dear. Women knew what they were saying, they knew they were getting it up in. Every document the scheme managers requested from John was supplied, and their verification qualified him to receive assistance. As Rosemary Osei Jenfi explains, due diligence is done on every document before they commit. When somebody applies, we go to the person's portal, we check if the person's all the documents we need, which is your, the person's current three months pay slip, the current three months bank statement and the Ghana card are all complete. And if the person doesn't have too many loans, the person is good to go. After the person has applied, gone through all the process, we book them for field work. When we go for the field work, um, the landlords will be signing a, signing an agreement with us, which is the tenancy agreement, and we have an agreement to which the landlord and the applicants will both sign with us. John has been honest to the scheme. He has vowed never to default in paying his monthly returns to the scheme. <laughs> This allows any beneficiary who qualifies to never ever pay rent advance again. From the Ashanti region, we continue to the Bono East Regional Capital, Tichiman. The National Rent Assistance Scheme is fully operational here too, and residents are really enjoying it. Port Tichiman is over 
160, more than 160. Uh, for approving, we are able to approve like 20, but for the payment, uh, every week we are able to pay like uh, no less than 10 per week. Here in Tejiman, we found one of the many beneficiaries. He is Cosmos and Kuma Yeboa. Yes, he works and earns income, but saving towards two years' rent advance payment was certainly a challenge. The National Rental Assistance Scheme became his life wire. Also, me drew water bill, light bill, but in a crank a crank, no baby, you know, not a son. Fame to her now, but one, two years, three years, down rent and adding. And the meti or mon cancer, and I never a boom precopa, minion, son, dear. I uh, friends uh, steps on uh, anamu uh, tour me and casa make a cam and was a bay am in sabi so moon tip. And the abuame pa mami na minisika e da hok semi kofane prekupe a bit ya daika. But through rent assistance scheme no and sa eighty me so musa. For cosmos, the fact that he can now save money to solve some other important permanent present needs is enough for him. He is indeed delivered. A year how be a free no so say Sabri I may wo I may ba every cool school and on baby school and school fees and anka me boa no nanka e be a be pam abo frana mona be fie na commit um me papa me father ni horny and no and on to me my missy who that scano emma abo frano ye be a school pay can cry na or qua and any school fees a then a crown and tis a how no et me I then a year free no so the initiative appears too good to be true. When we hear of something that is new, that has never been done, because of the environment and the numerous uh, uh, scandalous activities in the country, your first reaction is that this is too good to be true, that it must be a scam, right? But this is not a scam. I mean, I've never seen any scam where you use your money to pay for something for somebody else. Scheme way dear. They have any you me 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 do interest with. I call any guys be be doing say any possible. It be fraud because me me enter me me be be me enter first. Now any me be be me enter first as somebody me chip. To me enter first, then me guy back to follow me here too. As I see dear, most of guys I be I be join here. For me, it's not it's not shocking because um, many of the things I've tried to do in this country uh, since I've, I was have the privilege to serve are things that you know are not usually being done in the system. I believe in possibilities. I don't fear taking on things that haven't been done. So whenever I come up with an idea, there's a whole lot of skepticism. You know, they even say, oh, he's lying. They, that doesn't shock me that people, you know, were, were shocked and didn't think it would work and all of that. that I've come to realize that anything I say, you know, they, 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 because those things haven't really been done, people can be very skeptical, you know, ab about it, but usually, Time proves me right. Dr. Baumia is somebody who is focused on finding solutions to challenges. If you find him in the midst of a conversation and you find other people lamenting about problems, he's the one who is quickly getting to the end of the conversation that, okay, so how do we fix it? How do we solve it? How do we introduce some modern ways of cutting through the challenges so that we can resolve it? This is one initiative that is helping us to make a dent uh, in the housing uh, market, particularly when it comes to uh, the relationship between uh, landlords and tenants and smoothening that curve. But beyond this, there are quite a number of other initiatives that we are looking at in the housing space. He's also keen on us expanding our already existent affordable housing program by not just looking at government bringing money to build it, but how do we attract the private sector and make it worth their while to bring affordable technology, speedy work and to deliver affordable housing at a price point that makes sense to the market. So when Dr. Baumia becomes president, you will see some oomph in rural housing and affordable housing, and also some improvement in the regulation uh, of the housing sector using a lot of these digital tools 
uh, that he's been speaking about. The National Rental Assistance Scheme is giving landlords the peace of mind to continue renting their homes out. Michael Barr Jenkins is Cosmos's landlord. He walks us through how without sweat, he found full payment of Cosmos's two years rent advance in his bank account. I just have a personal property and they will build on that. Then they may hear my no. And the actress or never rent it for no. Obi Chiana Kakra Kramo. Ubu ha, the time so cran out here. Best is when the cran, I just say, Cobra, Cobra, and now a children who Chiana half matches his canoe. The opposite would be a no crano into me. But we need the Minyan bulk. To the Amy person with the Amyan. Mr. Jenkins can't believe the era where landlords had to chase their tenants for their rent is about becoming a thing of the past. As leaders, this is really what you are charged to do. You are charged to try to make life easier and better. And so everything that I, I do, or I try to do, is in that direction. You know, you have a problem. You know, people, you know, when the, 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 the electricity goes off and you, don't, you have to go to the ECG to buy your electricity unit. In the middle of the night, you can't. How do we make it easier? Digitalize the process so you can sit at home and buy electricity, even from abroad and buy electricity. You make life easier. You renew your national health insurance, even from your home. You make life easier. You can send money to any telco or a bank account, which you couldn't do before. Mobile money interoperability, you bring it. You make life easier. You see what I mean? So national rent assistance, you know, the free SHS, free TVET, all of these things makes life easier for, for Ghanaians. Before, our mothers struggled so hard to get these identities, even just a birth certificate. But now... On your mobile phone, within minutes, they will tell you this is your child's birth certificate number. This is your child's Ghana card number. It makes life easier. Anybody who is part of the scheme now will never ever have to pay rent advance again. That is what we are targeting. Number two, how much does it cost? Any money that the government has put in now, they have made a profit. Imagine if government made profits in all its uh, interventions. We would be in a far better place, right? So it, 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 it doesn't cost the government any money. And is it sustainable? And that too is yes, because when we set a limit, assuming that you know, the government has said that let's cap it at 6,000 people, 6,000 beneficiaries, as the money revolves, it gets to a point where the government doesn't have to put in any more money. It becomes self-sustainable. Everything is becoming possible in Ghana now. And that is the sign most Ghanaians are looking for. Very, very, very good. Especially as workers one of the six months, no quite two years here, no be a can. Dear, yeah, and Rabia, I mean, she should be a man in the above, this a bebois, or more behind the tenants. Rent assistance scheme, a sub program, and I said, you might, you know, a year now by a tea, I see. It may, my young son, for so, and they may come for a man, or be a so say, a while we hear BB Sano, which you are now more a call more officer or no more transier. Also on Sabeka, the answer on Sabeka, if you are more. School, they are going to pass their bino. Oh, my nice day. Where are these so much was so? A bebois, yeah, Sabian Timina Sicano, and Fanny Sabiania Sicano da Ho, say the entomo buyena, ye de Tria, na Bosumi be a woman to tea, and no ye better a bebois and so much was so. This joy cannot be quantified. And a visionary leader made it happen. When Dr. Baumian becomes president, I know one of the things that he's keen on us pushing is rural housing. 
You go to many of our villages today and you see the old Atakwame structures poorly laid out out there. Sometimes it's difficult to even maneuver between buildings. One of the things he's looking at is how to redevelop some of these rural areas through the rural housing scheme by using public sector workers as the fulcrum, the initial market around which little settlement using local rural housing technology um, uh, to build settlements for them. And that would signal the local community about the new ways of developing settlements in the using local technology. And we expect that when that is successful, it will begin to evolve and redefine how our rural areas look like. It works and it's gone very well. So I'm going to very significantly, by the grace of God, you know, if I am elected, I'm going to very significantly increase the resources that we are putting into the National Rental Assistance Scheme because it can help so many people, so many, many people uh, in the area of the rent space without really losing the money. You help and it becomes a revolving fund. And so I am expecting a very significant injection of funds into the rental assistance scheme. It is possible! For the Vice President, impossibility is out of the question now. That is how we should, we should do it, because once you can conceive it, you work hard at finding how to achieve it, right? And that is what we should do. And if you want to transform a country, you, you, you have to move away from what you have been doing, because what you have been doing is what got you into where you are. So if you want to change it, you have to do something different. You have to think outside the box, do things you haven't done before, change the whole formula and bring in new things. And that is what I keep trying to do, you know, challenge people, do things that think are impossible, prove them wrong. And that is what we have been doing. And so I've been very happy uh, with the progress we've made on the National Rental Assistance Scheme. Just so happy that we've been able to help so many people. Uh, and then the, the, the going forward, we're going to do more. With God, or the Almighty Allah in the picture, it is possible. And with Alhaji Dr. Baumia ready to lead the charge, there is hope and all impossibilities will succumb to the authority of possibilities. It is so very much possible.